Hi everyone, I've come to share an Anne of Green Gables book. I was so thrilled to be able to find these. I managed to get two the same. So it's a beautiful green book, Anne of Avonlea. Here we go, and I'll put the lace going around the spine. The cover's all been um, sealed. And some gorgeous seam binding, which I bought. I thought it matched beautifully. The hitch post with the filigree on it. This one measures seven and a half by five inches, and I've sewn in two signatures using a kit from Calico Collage. So here we go inside. The lace is up the centre with a beautiful image. And here we've got the uh, pocket and the verse on the large tag. I'm so glad I live in a world where there are octobers. It's beautiful greens and pinks and florals. Done a lovely um, shape to the edge on the pocket I like using. And you should find some beautiful little flowers just to add in the pops of colour. And the images from the kit. So we go on to the first lace pocket. Got a scalloped edge circle and a lovely flare sewn on with some cotton trim. It's a beautiful pocket. Oops. And inside it has the journaling card. It says on it, Anne of Green Gables. It sits nicely in there. Pops back in. This one's an envelope. And inside stuck those two together so it's double sided. Nice right on that one, it's a lovely size. And a big journaling tag over the back. True friends always together in spirit. So just love the orangey colours and the pinks and everything. We wanted to do an Anne of Green Gable for quite a few years. So it was such a treat to find the book. Got a bit of lace on the top of this and on the bottom. And I've um, stenciled some buzzy bees through this one, just a few. Just thought, well, you put bees down on the farm. That lovely crinkles down to the uh, tea dyed paper, baked from the other. And as you can see, there's a lot of journaling pages. I like putting those in the middle. See, onion paper, bees again. Lovely verse, and on the side of made a uh, pocket. And lovely onion paper and popped a tag in there. Lovely silhouette and some lace on the bottom. And that's been glued onto some um, telegraph paper. Lovely lace die cut edge I love using. Some nice large tags to journal on. And they're not tags, just journaling cards. And the picture there of Ben. And then we'll just sit nicely back in that lovely lace. Pop it at the top. And we've got the flower on this one also. Lovely flowers again. It's that nice edge I like using. And that goes into the centre, which is double pockets. And the lovely silhouettes. Got some lovely writing space on here. And I'll put tea dye paper on the back so it becomes a really nice size journaling. And just pop in there. Another one of those lovely flowers. Just sits nicely there in the circle. The back here we've got another lace pocket. We've got that envelope and I've um, upsized it. And inside tea dyed on the back so you can write on that lovely card in there. And then the wee pocket. Also made that double sided so you could write on that one. A beautiful flower with any of green gables on it. And this beautiful one here. And they all just sit nicely and you can fit more in there. It's a um, lace die cut. Beautiful picture. Got a lovely flower tag behind the pocket and inside a lovely one to write on. We've got some lace just at the top of the uh, bag. Mm. And paper. 
We've got all the journaling pages in the centre again. Both stencil beads on the top of both pages. Onion paper. Telegraph paper and inside we've got the tag and that lovely green seam binding on the top. It matched so well. And I'll just um, glue down one of the sayings there. Die cut page, another lovely pocket here, lovely image. Oops, sits in the back, and I've got the house. Another one of these sayings, and a lovely journaling card there as well. And the flowers, there's that lovely shape again. Stuck that one inside down. <laughs> it goes that way. <laughs> there we go, and you can write on that one. And then the beautiful house at the um, on the back cover. So there we go, this is what I've been busy working on. This one will be listed for sale in my Etsy and I'll leave the link below. It's a beautiful one. Um, Anna Green Gables. Thanks everybody.